Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, we'll work on it this week. So uh, welcome to another great week here at the Franciscan School as we begin our morning prayer. Let's quiet ourselves as we begin. Give me a drink. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is that a Jew asks a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Where do you get the living water? Jesus said, The water that I will give will become the spring water of gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he, he will proclaim all the things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. We all need water to live. Jesus gives us living water. What do you believe that means? Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Living God, our thirst is quenched by living by the living water that is Jesus Christ. In whose name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please join me as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. St. Clair of Assisi was born in Assisi on July 16, 1194. Tradition says her father was a wealthy representative of an ancient Roman family, and her mother was a very devout woman belonging to the noble family of Cluny. As a young girl, Derek declared it dedicated herself to prayer. At 18 years old, she heard St. Francis of Assisi preach during Lenten service in the church of San Giorgio and asked him to help her live according to, to the gospel. On Palm Sunday in 1212, Claire left her father, father's home and went to meet with Francis. While there, Claire's hair was cut off and she was given a plain robe and a veil in exchange for her own rich crown. Aunt Claire joined the covenant in the Benedict nuns of St. Paulo. Her, when her father found her and attempted to force her to move her back into his home, she refused and, prof and professed that she would have no other husband than Jesus Christ. In order to give her the greater solitude she desired, St. Francis sent Claire to St. Angela Penzo, another Benedictine, Benedictine nuns of ministry. Over time, another wo other women uh, joined them and they became known as the poor ladies of San Damiano. They all lived a simple, happy, a simple, happy life. And Claire and her sisters wore no shoes and ate no meat 
lived in a poor house and kept silent most of the time. They were very happy because our Lord was close to them all the time. Ten years after Claire's death, the order became known as the Order of the St. Clair. Claire was devoted to and dedicated to Francis that she was often referred to as Altar Francisca's or another Francis. She encouraged and aided the man she saw a spiritual father figure and took him care of as, as he grew old. Following Francis's death, Claire continued to promote her order. In 1224, an army of rough soldiers from Frederick II came to attack Assisi. Although very sick, Claire went out and, let, and to meet them with the blessed sacrament out in her hands. In that moment, a sudden fr fright struck the attackers as they fled as they could without harming anyone in CC. On August 9th, 1253, Pope Innocent V, the fourth, declared Saint declared Claire's Saint Claire's rule would serve as the governing rule for Claire's order of poor ladies. Two days later, Claire died at 59 years old at Pope Francis Innocent request. The canonization process for Claire began immediately, and two years later, in 1225, in 1255, Pope Alexander IV canonized Claire as Saint Claire of Assisi. Good morning. Our junior thespian troop members participated virtually in the 2021 North Carolina Thespian Festival with the other middle school and high school honor theater students from across the state. The theme was the Roaring Twenties. We heard from some amazing keynote speakers, including the hip hop artist Demeanor and playwright Idris Goodwin, and participated in workshops led by college theater professors from UNCG, William Peace, Meredith, App State, UNCCH, and more. A highlight of the weekend was the awards announcement during closing ceremonies. Megan Lasky was awarded Critics' Choice for Musical Theater solo with her performance of When It All Falls Down from the Musical Chaplain. Sham by Frank G. Tompkins was selected as the North Carolina Chapter Select One Act featuring actors Megan Lasky, Anna Green, Emily Tanache, and Paige Erlinger. Congratulations to Troop 8972-26 for your wonderful representation of the Franciscan School at this year's festival. We have, we have some birthdays to celebrate for today. In fourth grade, Eva Kachubo! And in fifth grade, Ethan Merrill! And in seventh grade, Cody Cartwright! And what do we say to our birthday people today? Happy birthday! Please join me as we say the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. For most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart, and give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Have a marvelous Monday. Oh, wait. It's the 23rd day of Lent. It's the 23rd day of Lent. All right. <laughs> it's the 23rd day of Lent. Father Jim will be back tomorrow to dance again to celebrate the 24th day of Lent.